we're going to open up um, the image. There we go. We took it with the camera. And first of all, we're going to rotate it a little bit. Okay. That's yeah, not too bad. In the olden days, what I would have done is I would have um, scanned it in in black and white, but these days I can't be bothered to do that sort of thing. So, what I'll do is I'll just crop it like so. Yep, we'll crop that. And then we'll run the mode down to grayscale, discard the color. Chuck it into bitmap mode um, with a 50% threshold, so we've just got black and white. And then what I tend to do here is I tidy stuff up. So I've got a nice brush, black, X gets rid of it, we'll go to white, and we'll just get rid of some of the, the superfluous stuff. And tidy up some of the lines. It's not so bad actually because this one we're just going to do black and white So it's not so shocking if I was going to add a color layer What I tend to do is add a color layer over the top as another layer and then you need to make sure that you've got sealed um, Loop what do we call them sealed forms so that the color doesn't bleed everywhere Because I just use a bucket tool and fill them if you do it a large enough resolution you don't tend to need to worry too much I've found um, about trapping trapping is where you um, so if I filled here for instance with something if I filled there in, in a color thing then trapping would mean I would be getting some little kind of like edgy bits and pieces of not the right color where I wanted it to be so um, we I don't know what's going on there. We want to go to that's great, but what I really want is my brush back. Thank you very much. I think I pressed a Z instead of an X. X um, for what I'm doing changes the brush color from secondary to primary, primary to secondary, so it's quite a useful switch over. Again, so this is one of those things whereby you, you get used to doing one particular thing and then if you switch over um, So if I switch to <laughs> when I switch to Photoshop proper, I can never remember What's going on on here if I want to undo something? It's a control Z um, And then a control Y to bring it back on Full <laughs> Photoshop. Oh, I've got no idea what it is. I think that does, undoes one step or something like that which is um, which is absolutely no good to me because I don't go one step, I tend to go on many steps that are wrong. Yeah, some of this black isn't great, is it? But it'll be fine. What I tend to like to do is I like to sharpen up these edges. It's just me, I think. There you go. So there we, now we can cut into the boot as we were saying earlier. So we've got the boot going out beyond the leg yeah I like that some of this blotchiness I'm not so fond of but it's only black and white we're doing today so we're not so worried and we can cut again the boot so the boot cuts into there boot's not going to be super sharp I don't think we just have it reasonably we'll trim the crotch area a bit um, and then this ruffle in the clothes here to give some things and we'd have oh I do like a nice sharp beard <laughs> not that beards are ever sharp like this in real life but then again you don't tend to have too many dwarfs wielding axes in real life well maybe you do I don't know I don't have tend to see many dwarfs wielding axes in real life but then that's because I don't live in Lord of the Rings land um, yeah, this is okay. 
this is a bit of a mess up here I'm not really quite sure what's going on it's not very clear what's interesting is as you do these things if you really put lines in you think that that will look okay but if it's unclear as to what's going on then something's gone wrong with the, the mix this here is wrong as well but I'm not really quite sure what to do with that either let's just bring him down here and give some more more hair I haven't done too many um, videos of of kind of inking stuff up I first started watching people do it ages ago when I used to work for Bechter I used to spend a lot of time kind of traveling the country in board kind of like hotel rooms and at the time Mike Krahulik from Penny Arcade had just started doing live inking and I used to think his work was fantastic I mean still I still think it is fantastic I don't like it so much now I think he's evolved into into kind of like ways that I don't like so much but the mere fact that I could connect to the to the net and then watch him ink up something that I thought was well done it was like kind of master class you get to see how to use all these tools and at the time I wasn't I, I still aren't still am not very good at using Photoshop but at the time I had no idea really what I was doing with Photoshop um, let's get rid of that and put a, a tighter a tighter eyeball in there um, <clears throat> so yeah watching watching kind of like the people you you really like do stuff online is, is fantastic really really liberating yeah I'm not sure what's going on here with this beard but it's a bit too thin and reedy but it will do for the time being we'll take a bit out of this as well um, and we'll take out a bit of this boot same as we did with the other one and then we've got a bit of lack of clarity going on with the boot over there actually underneath but I'm not quite sure how we're going to resolve that either so there comes the boot that comes round but then the foot is curling round there as well it's just badly drawn basically um, if I was going to do it again <laughs> I wouldn't do it like that <laughs> okay so here's our axe let's tighten that up a bit get rid of that tentacle part and we'll clean up this tentacle a bit here I think I'm going to call it a day in a minute we're almost done we're almost done good enough okay good enough for inktober anyway so you can see I'm quite quick at what I do what I do is great but I am quite quick at it um, so the, the sketch took sketch to ink took about 10 minutes this bit tends to take about well up to about half an hour depending on how precise I'm being and if it's going to be coloured if it's going to be coloured it takes a lot longer uh, I must say but I'm not colouring this so we can tighten it up quite quickly um, those tentacles there are rubbish aren't they <laughs> I don't think there's much I can do about those I've just not drawn them with any grace or finesse at all. Well, let's put some more suckers on. See if it stops them from. At the minute, they look a bit like kind of broad beans that have gone wrong. But then again, it's a bit of a mess of tentacles here. That I normally I would have drawn a creature with tentacles, but I was just putting these in just to add a little bit of background, a bit of background flavour. It's quite often what I would do if I was doing this for work is I would do the um, foreground background separate so I would draw the little man in the foreground and I would draw our background some other time and then I would splice the two together just using layers which is very very easy to do and saves a lot of work because then you can use the background again and again um, yeah these are a bit rubbish let's give them a bit of extra a bit of extra life
Okay. See if that looks any better. I don't think it does look much better. No, that's that will do. Okay, so there's our black and white for this fella. Um, then what I would do to take it to the web, just as black and white, is I would shrink it down. So in a minute the image is um, well. Actually, let's let's change the mode first. So we turn it back to grayscale um, because then it neatens it, it up a bit. We chuck it into um, RGB because we're on the screen. That's fine. And then it's going to be too big for use on the on the, the net like this. So if we look at the image size, wow, we 1,400 pixels wide. So let's go for something a little bit smaller than that. So we'll go for for the web, just for a thousand pixels width. I'll I'll re revert on this in a minute. Um, okay, so that shrinks it down, but that's going to be fine for the web. And then what we'll do is we'll say five save for web. And we'll save it as PNG because it's just black and white, which is fine. It's going to be 135k. Seems it's got a lot for for not one. So A is for for X um, Inktober 2017. We chuck that on the desktop, and then we'll stick it on the the blog in a bit. Um, then what I would do if if I was doing If I was doing this for something else, is I would then take it over here and add a layer in, um, and then add the colours onto the top. But uh, well, I might do that a bit later, but not now. That'll do.